next we are having friction so this topic will might be will be new for you that is friction so what is a friction friction is a natural force natural force which opposes the motion of one object on the surface of another object might be you have seen this kind of effect in your daily life when you will throw the ball on a surface that ball will stop after some time or ball will continues in the motion for throughout the year no obviously no ball will stop after some time why ball is stopping after some time because between the ball and the surface some kind of force is there and that force which slow down the motion of this basketball or this ball is nothing but a frictional force or you can say friction now how this friction will happen see carefully for example this for example surface is there and this surface is having some kind of irregularities in your daily life also if you are watching any surface very clear very smooth surface is there but in actual when you will see from the microscopic level that surface is not that much smooth surface some kind of irregularities are always there in any kind of surface like in cemented floor wooden floor in like marbles each and every type roughness should be roughness is always there between the surface here in surface roughness is there plus in the ball also some kind of roughness is there here also roughness is there so when these two roughness will interlock with each other here two roughness are going to interlock with each other this interlocking between the roughness will give the frictional force it will slow down the motion of an object so this is the reason why frictional force is there between the when two objects are in actual contact with each other next we are having properties of friction so first property we are having frictional force produced only when object actually move or tend to move over a surface of another object when one object is actually moving when one object is actually moving over the surface of other object then only interlocking will be possible if interlocking will be there then only friction will be there next we are having a frictional force opposes motion of an one object over the surface of other object this we are knowing that whenever frictional force is there that force will always slow down the motion of an object and see one thing more if ball is moving in this direction a ball is moving in this direction frictional force always act in the opposite direction frictional force is acting in this direction if two forces are in opposite direction then only they are slowing down if i am saying that ball is moving in this direction and frictional force is also in this direction only so means it is going to just speed up the motion of an object it is not like this if you will apply the force in the same direction only in which object is moving then there will be the speed up of an object but if object is moving in this direction but frictional force is acting in the opposite direction or any force is acting in the opposite directional then only motion will slow down okay so frictional force is also the same it is acting in the opposite direction to that of motion of an object third property we are having amount of friction depend upon roughness and smoothness of two surfaces for example here i am having very rough for example cemented floor and here for example i am having a ice floor ice floor in ice floor very less irregularities are there this is cemented floor this is cemented floor this is ice floor and same ball i am going to roll on both surfaces same ball is going to roll okay due to this very much irregularities ball is having also irregularities in it here also ball is having irregularities into it but here you, you can see irregularities between the both surfaces is more than the interlocking between the surfaces is more due to more roughness interlocking is also tight interlocking is also more but in the ice and the ball interlocking is less here whenever in any of ob two object interlocking will be more their frictional force is always more means here ball will slow down very in very less time very fastly ball will slow down but in the ice floor as the interlocking is less so ball will move for a longer time as compared to the cemented floor floor so more is the irregularities more is a friction less is the irregularities less is a friction so it depends upon roughness and smoothness of two surfaces okay next we are having fourth property amount of friction varies from surface to surface so amount of friction always varies from surface to surface for example here i am having wooden surface this is wooden surface i am writing here w this is cemented floor 
this is cemented floor here i'm writing c this is ice floor here i'm writing i okay uh, when you will watch from the microscopic level wooden surfaces are having more irregularities as compared to cemented floor if wooden surfaces are having more irregularities then there will be a more interlocking between the object and the surface and here as compared to wooden surface less irregularities are there and here very little irregularities will be there so where frictional force will be more here here or in this case in a b or c in which case frictional force will be more as you can see in the a case irregularities are more if irregularities are more interlocking is more between the two surfaces if interlocking is more means here frictional force is more here you can see like interlocking between the two surfaces as compared to wooden floor is less so here frictional force as compared to wooden floor is less but here interlocking is very much less if interlocking is very much less then frictional force is also less means here in the a like type in the wooden surface ball will slow down very easily in the cemented floor or like for some time ball will move but in the ice floor for the longer time ball will move because here less friction is there next we are having fifth property amount of friction depends upon mass of moving object over a surface for example this ball is having greater mass so when object is of greater mass that object should be of higher like friction if for example here i am having greater mass here i am having smaller mass okay this body mass is greater this body mass is smaller if i am having greater mass friction a greater mass object then that greater mass will have greater friction because here interlocking between the surface will be more and here interlocking between the surface will be less if more interlocking will be there then more friction will be there so in the heavy object or in the greater mass object frictional force will be more as compared to lightweight object okay so here in this case here frictional force is more because it is going to slow down very easily but here frictional force is less because mass of an object is less next we are having kinds of friction so actually we are having three kinds of friction first we are having static friction one by one i will explain you what is static friction next we are having sliding friction then we are having rolling friction so one by one we are going to discuss about all three kinds of friction static friction sliding friction and rolling friction so here we are having with the first friction so first we are having static friction so what do you mean by static friction static friction is the force of friction that comes into play when one object tends to move over the surface but there is no actual movement means this boy is applying too much force on this wall but wall is not moving anywhere on applying the force why because wall is having greater frictional force with the surface if an object is having greater frictional force with the surface then that object will never move anywhere as you can see wall is not moving anywhere on applying all the force this boy is applying his all force on this wall but still wall is not moving anywhere so this kind of friction where object is not moving anywhere in spite of force is being applied that frictional force is known as static friction next we are having sliding friction as you can see from the diagram also when one object slides over the surface of other object in that case sliding friction is there here we are having definition sliding is a frictional force exerted by a surface on an object when object is actually sliding over the surface of other object when this object is actually sliding over the surface of other object then here you can say sliding friction is there next we are having rolling friction as a name suggests rolling friction when one object is rolling over the surface of other object when this object is rolling over the surface of other object that friction is nothing but a rolling friction you can see when surface is like this only a part of ball is going to touch with the surface okay so here you can see interlocking will be less if interlocking will be less then in the rolling friction friction is less means object can move to a longer time period by applying even though less force but in the sliding friction in this sliding friction if you will 
apply the force on this like box here this box is uh, having more physical contact with the surface when this box is having more physical contact with the surface then here irregularities between the surface and the box is also mo more if irregularities is more interlocking is more means here sliding friction is always more sliding friction is always more than rolling friction okay in the rolling friction only some part of object is in contact with the surface and due to some part of an object less interlocking is there so here it is easier to roll any object on the surface than to slide a like object sliding any object is difficult but if you want to roll something on object rolling is is easier as compared to sliding friction next we are having effects of friction so here we are having first effect of friction friction always opposes motion means friction always slow down the motion of an object this i told you how there will be a interlocking between the two surfaces when interlocking will be more friction will be more so friction always opposes the motion this is the first effect of friction second effect of friction we are having friction always produces heat might be this kind of experiment you have also done in your like house when you will rub the two hands across each other rubbing two hands will provide the friction here means uh, friction will be provided between the two hands no so when friction will be there it always produce some kind of heat so friction always produces heat in the machinery parts also when machinery parts are going to rub to each other then machinery parts are also going to heat up due to the friction next we are having third effect of friction friction causes wear and tear wear and tear means firstly new tire is like this when we are just buying the new tire new tire is having grooves like this new new grooves okay but when you will use the tire again and again after few years or after many like time what you will see this tire is going to change into this tire here actually due to friction between the surface of road and friction on the tire there will be a all, there will be a interlocking between the two surfaces due to interlocking friction will be there and due to that friction wear and tear means some kind of part is going to rub out or wear out due to the friction same with your uh, soles of your shoes soles of your shoes is also going to wore out due to the frictional force between the surface and your shoes next we are having advantages of friction as we know if we are writing something on a paper how you are able to write something on a paper it is only due to the friction if no friction will be there then how we are able to write something on a paper or like board okay if friction is there that is why our pencil is going to hold into this paper that is why we are writing something if no friction will be there then our pencil is going to slide over it we are not able to write anything so we can write on a paper by using a pencil by using a friction okay next we can hold a book in your hand we are able to hold a book we are able to hold a pen we are able to hold anything in our hand why this is also due to friction between the pen or between the book and the hand between the book and hand also there is a frictional force and due to that frictional force we can easily hold a book in our hand next we are having third advantage of friction that is you are able to light up matchstick due to friction so by the help of friction we are able to light up matchstick when you will rub the matchstick over the box by rubbing it produce a friction due to friction it will produce a heat and it will burn a matchstick so next we are having advantage of friction that is car bike buses and trucks run over the road how car bikes and this buses run over the road it is also due to the friction due to the friction between the tires and due to the friction between the surface between the tire and surface there is a frictional force due to this frictional force we are easily going to drive any kind of vehicle on the road fifth advantage we are having moving vehicles can also be stopped by applying brakes so whenever we are applying force on the brakes in the brake also we are actually producing the frictional force frictional force means by applying the force frictional force will be there so easily we can stop any kind of vehicle over the road next we are having advantage of friction that is knitting weaving stitching work are possible due to friction these all kind of work are also possible due to friction because here some kind of like opposing force is there which is going to retain the cloth on this machine if no opposing force will be there then cloth will move away from this uh, this machine so we are not able to hold the cloth on to the machine that is why this all things are possible stitching weaving all things are possible due to friction only 
next we are having as many objects are having advantages in the same way that things are having their some kind of disadvantage also in the same way friction is also the same friction is having some kind of advantage plus it is having some kind of disadvantages also so here one by one we are going to read about the disadvantages of friction so first disadvantage of friction is friction always opposes the motion of body over another means if i want that my ball should move for throughout the year that is not possible i know but just still i am just thinking about this this is not possible at all why because of friction because friction always opposes the motion friction always slow down the motion whenever two objects are in contact with each other due to that contact due to that interlocking between the two object it always slow down the motion of a body next we are having second disadvantage of friction frictional force between various parts of machine produces heat and noise as you can see in various automobiles in various like car bike each and everything are having some kind of complex machinery and that machinery parts when rub over each other the rubbing of machinery parts will produce some kind of heat and this heat as well as due to this heat noise is also going to produce due to the friction between the various machinery parts so this is also a disadvantage of a friction next we are having third disadvantage of friction that is heat produced due to continuous use of machinery causes wear and tear as i already told in automobile in the machinery parts whenever two machinery parts rub over each other they always having a friction between it friction due to this friction they are they are producing the heat and due to that heat there is always a wear and tear means the machinery parts are going to worn out or going to damage due to this friction between the moving machine machinery parts next we are having fourth disadvantage of friction vehicles give less mileage what do you mean by this mileage mileage means how much fuel a vehicle is consuming in per kilometer means per kilo if an object is moving per kilometer or in 1 kilometer how much this object or how much this car is using the fuel in 1 kilometer that is its mileage but due to the friction due to this friction in order to overcome the friction actually whenever car is moving in this straight road air friction is there air is also using some kind of resistance in order to slow down the motion of vehicle so in order to means overcome that friction this car is using more and more fuel in a 1 km means mileage is less due to the friction next we are having next disadvantage of friction our shoes and tires of vehicles wear out due to friction first of all whenever you are going to buy new tire the grooves of the tire is like this but after few month or after few years the tires are going to change into this shape why it changes into this shape due to the friction between the road and the tires due to friction it produces the heat or it it worn out all the tires and it is going to change its shape similarly with the soles of your shoes when the friction between the surface and the soles of your shoes is there due to friction there is a wear and tear or your shoes are going to worn out due to the friction next we are having friction is a necessary evil friction is a necessary evil means we have just seen that friction has lot of advantages so if friction is having lot of advantages in our daily life so means it is necessary for us but with the advantages friction is having so many disadvantages also as we have learned advantages also in the same way we are having disadvantages also so friction is nothing but a necessary evil when you will combine this both acts together this both factor together so what you will say you will say na friction is a necessary evil necessary also it is necessary also but it is evil also it is showing too many disadvantages also to us so we have to use the friction but how to use the friction in a appropriate way means when we want friction that time we will increase the friction but when we not want the friction we will that time we will decrease the friction so these must be in your mind that how we can increase the friction and how we can decrease the friction according to our convenience so here we are going to study about the same only so now we are going to study methods to reduce friction that how we can reduce friction when we want to reduce the friction so first step we are having you may reduce friction by making surfaces polished so we can make a surface polished in order to reduce the friction if surface will be polished 
polished means less irregularities will be there if less irregularities will be there means less interlocking between the object and the surface will be there so due to less interlocking less like frictional force will be there so you can make a surface is polished in order to reduce the friction so second point we are having by using lubricants such as oil and grease the moving surfaces of machine are made smooth so whenever moving surfaces of the machine are not working properly that time what we are doing we are giving just lubricants to them lubricant means oil and grease we are giving oil and grease to them why we are giving oil and grease so that the surface of that machinery parts will become smooth smooth means irregularities will be less if irregularities will be less then interlocking between the surface and the object will be less and due to less interlocking friction will be less so my by making the surface smooth or by giving the oil or grease to any machinery part we can easily reduce the friction next we are having third point to play carom we with sprinkle fine powder on it the fine powder act as a lubricant might be you have seen this in this kind of game like whenever we are playing carom board there we are just sprinkling the powder on it why we are sprinkling powder on it to make the board more smooth make the board more smooth means there is less irregularities between the board so if less irregularities will be there so with the coin there will be less interlocking so with the less interlocking less friction will be there and our coins can move very easily over the board so that is why we are going to sprinkle the powder or fine powder on the surface of board okay next we are having next point methods to reduce friction by using wheels and rollers we can easily pull a heavy suitcase means whenever you are using wheels and rollers over a heavy suitcase we can easily roll over it on the ground why because as i already told during the rolling friction due to the rolling there is a less contact between the object and the surface due to less contact between the object and the surface there is less interlocking due to less interlocking there will be a less friction so that is why we are using some kind of wheels or rollers on a heavy suitcase that we can easily apply the force and it can easily roll over the surface even though we cannot slide we cannot slide this bag over the uh, like road sliding is very difficult because when you want to slide this bag i am going to slide like this i am going to pull it like this okay so here when you want to pull it like this here is a more contact between the surface and the bag due to more contact more interlocking will be there and more friction will be there so it is easier to roll something on a ground than to slide something on a ground next we are having here fifth point rolling friction of wheels can be further reduced so when i had already told that rolling friction is less as compared to sliding friction if you want the rolling friction less more and more less further reduce how we can further reduce by using a ball bearing might be in your drawers you have seen that we are able to we are easily opening the drawers how we are easily opening the drawer because in the drawers this ball bearing is attached if in your drawers no ball bearing is attached then we are just applying more and more force in order to take that box out but due to this ball bearing rolling friction will be very easy rolling friction will further reduced and we can easily open the drawer or oh, even though here in this also might be you have played played with this this is a fidget spinner in a fidget spinner also there is in a center ball bearing is there so with this ball bearing we can easily rotate this fidget spinner by applying some force so here rolling friction is there so we can easily apply the force and friction is less next we are having this is very important point actually here some bodies we are making in a streamlined shape streamlined shape is like this means from the back side is it is broad and in the front side it is like this it is not too much broad like the shape of fish shape of aeroplane these all shapes are streamlined shape why they streamlined shape because whenever fish or plane is moving for example this plane is moving in a sky due to air air is also using some air is also giving some kind of frictional force to the plane due to this frictional force between the plane and the air the motion of the plane is going to slow down so in order to reduce this friction what plane is doing plane is having some kind of streamlined shape this streamlined shape will reduce the friction it will cut off the air particles and can move easily into the air that is why streamlined shape is used in various bodies in order to reduce the friction 
next we are having methods to increase friction in some kind in some things we need to reduce the friction but in some things we need to increase the friction for example in the car tires actually grooves are provided in the tires of automobiles why these grooves are provided if grooves will be not there then how we can apply the brake and uh, immediately the that uh, tire will stop or how it can move smoothly on a ground okay so that is why grooves are provided if no grooves will be there then car will not move properly on a ground okay so this grooves are given to the automobile so that it can increase the friction between the surface and the uh, surface and the tire of the car so that it can move properly on a road without slipping on the road if no grooves will be there then your car is going to slip over the road so we don't want our car to be slip over road it can easily move so that we are giving the grooves to the tires next we are having athletes and mountaineer use a special type of shoes these athletes and mountaineers are using shoes with the spikes spikes means this kind of things actually this kind of things are used in order to increase the friction so that they cannot they cannot i uh, mean slip over the ground or they cannot slip when they are just uh, climbing up to the mountains that is why they are using these kind of spikes shoes so that they can increase the friction and they can move properly next method we are having in order to increase friction grinding stone of floor mills have rough surface so as to increase friction might be you have seen this kind of floor mills in the floor mills actually these surface is made rough why these surfaces are made rough so that by making the surface rough and when you will put the wheat into it there is more and more friction will be there between the wheat and the this grinding floor mill if more friction will be there means more force we have to apply when we apply more force then wheat will crush into fine powder very easily that is why grinding store grinding stones of the floor mills are made rough in order to increase the friction next we are having fourth point steps of the staircase steps of the staircase and the ramps of building are always made rough why they are made a rough so that we can easily like uh, take the vehicle over the house or we can easily take any stretcher in the hospitals we are easily take any stretcher or wheelchairs without slipping it can move easily into the hospital or the vehicles can easily move into the house that is why these ramps or staircase are made rough or uh, friction is increased over it okay